Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. He probably also said, damn, Kevin, why is your phone screen so greasy looking? Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, another video update for you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button. We got some important, some important news here about CBDC, Bank of America, and folks getting paid their salaries in CBDC, as well as new laws that are governing and dictating how the future is going to play out. And uh, folks, I encourage everyone watching to take control of their future as best possible. So, you know, we gotta we gotta really analyze and, and pull apart and dissect this these changes happening in our economy and our financial system and our monetary system, as well as some of these laws that are going to be passed as far as fiat currency and the future of the economy. And it says here, or at least it asks the question. You guys can see this is from the World Economic Forum. You know, these geniuses, these rogue scholars. Can a central bank digital currency serve as a bridge to greater financial inclusion? Or will it deepen the digital divide? So, you know, it's like the or doesn't even, it doesn't even contrast the original question. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a simple, these are two simple answers uh, to, to two simple questions. Can a central bank digital currency serve as a, a bridge to greater financial inclusion? Obviously, you guys know what that means. The folks who have been excluded from uh, greater financial ability, wealth, knowledge, information, access. Will it d uh, deepen the digital divide? Let's answer that after we go over some of these other major breaking headlines that uh, Bank of America says that CBDCs are the future of money and payments. The future, okay? The best way to predict the future is what? Well, Bank of America is trying to take control. Central bank digital currencies have the potential to revolutionize global financial systems. The same financial systems that have glitches and <laughs> breaches and uh, uh, fraud and cyber attacks. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go watch my past videos where Bank of America wiped out several bank accounts from a glitch, from a transaction glitch from Zelle payments. We'll, we, we'll see how, how, how truthful that really, that really is. Uh, I have my own opinions about what could have possibly happened or why things have possibly happened. Um, but it's becoming more common. Okay. And then it's like some of these bigger banks like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, I mean, you got, you got the known, the known, um, you got the known culprits out there and then you got, you know, Chase, you got City, you got, J, uh, you got Goldman Sachs too, folks. Goldman Sachs is making some major changes. They announced 500 layoffs, but then they upped the number and then they changed the bonus structure of the program. And this is only like scratching the surface because it says here that, uh, folks are going to be taking their salaries in CBDC now. And it says, <laughs> and, and the crazy part about it is, check this out. It says that Ukraine's deputy prime minister wants to be the first user of a planned new central bank digital currency, CBDC, and take his salary in e Hirvina. I can't, I can't say that, that word. Like, I, I, I guess I, my, I can't say it. e Harry Avina. <laughs> I can't say that word. Uh, it says, get this, the uh, Ukraine deputy prime minister, I'll take my salary in CBDC. He wants to make his country the world's leading jurisdiction for virtual currency after a successful wartime fundraising campaign. <sighs> There's so many things wrong <laughs> with this statement. A successful wartime fundraising campaign. I'm going to let that sink in, all right? And then I'm going to read this to you where it says, same article. It says that new laws will make the country the world's leading jurisdiction for crypto assets. Uh, Ukraine's minister for digital transformation after Ukraine successfully used crypto to raise money for its armed forces. <laughs> crypto. <sighs> Raising money. Think about it. If Ukraine makes a push 
for crypto and central bank digital currency a CBDC and they're having a successful run at their wartime fundraising campaign who's their biggest financial supporter I'll let you guys comment that down below so that means that their biggest supporter is going to more than likely support them in a currency that they they accept right think about that but the worst part about it is it says that new laws new laws make the country the world's leading jurisdiction for crypto assets so folks it almost sounds like with bank of america saying that cbdc is the future the best way to predict your future is to control it w read between the lines uh the tea leaves are telling you a story folks and basically we're going to witness the change of laws with major banks behind this pushing towards this fictitious theory thought idea possibility of greater financial inclusion in my opinion to even ask the question is only to entice and dangle carrots in front of those who have historically in the past been excluded financially why because odds are they are in greater numbers therefore you can receive their votes therefore you can get their support and backing to do whatever it is you want to do without an executive order and even then if you don't get your way you'll probably still execute on an executive order only to then continuously exclude them how many times have we seen this happen well i voted for this well yeah we can't do that anymore sorry guys thanks for the votes though see you in four years will it deepen the digital divide odds are yes odds are yes because the technology is not available the knowledge and education is not available think about the knowledge and education that has been shared thus far with people about the current financial the current fiat currency the the current system that we have in place now how many people have been left out and just cast out into the world to not earn a lot of money waste a lot of money not save money not budget not know how to save and invest not understand debt and these credit scores and ultimately dig themselves in these holes you think that CBDC and the advancements of technology is not going to deepen the digital divide? Of course it will. You got to think a lot of these folks that are suffering now financially don't have the access or the capability or the education, nor is it being brought to them to be included in this new digital era. So, folks, you know, CBDC is coming the you know they 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 are controlling the future and at the end of the day i hi, i highly encourage and i urge folks out there to become better educated and uh somebody actually commented on my last video one of my last videos that they weren't aware they didn't know what a cold storage wallet was again folks moving forward like i told you my predictions for 2023 were going to be more of the same more of the same so Whatever was happening before, expect more of the same moving forward. And if you were uh, affected, if you were at risk, if you were negatively impacted by any of these recent occurrences, then I highly urge you to consider looking into diversity and security. Those are my diversity, security, and cash flow producing assets. Those are my biggest motivations for anybody watching this video for 2023 diversity security and cash flow producing assets huge if you want me to go into greater detail just let me know um but you know the change is coming the change is coming it's happening around the world it's happening here uh you got folks out there putting in great effort into completing these quantum computers these quantum financial system databases 
ultimately the future of blockchain. And you got to think blockchain, blockchain isn't that old. And they're already evolving blockchain to these, this quantum financial system, which um, if you don't know, then it's really only going to hurt more than it helps. So all I can say is, folks, do the best you can to become better educated. And again, the cash flow producing assets are going to be very, very important because despite whatever currency we use, whatever um, medium of exchange that we use, uh, we still have to have the ability to produce the cash flow. Um, and, and then we got to protect it. We always got to protect it because with these advancements, although they claim to be um, more secure, I mean, if you think about quantum financial systems as a, in the simplest form, it almost is the least secure because it's designed to break down blockchain think about it so um the financial inclusion we got to take that upon ourselves folks okay we shouldn't sit wait and hope for anything to be handed to us especially not by this government or any government for that matter uh universal basic income is ultimately a modernized form of slavery i would i would i would highly advise against it and uh and you know the idea and the theory behind central bank digital currency providing that or some form of 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 increased inclusion i've been down that road before Inclu inclusion is a joke okay and it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a great word to toss around it's a great theory idea theme to toss around but at the end of the day, it doesn't really include anybody who hadn't already been included, if that makes sense. And if it does, it's only for the benefit of those uh, that are including you, not those being included, if that makes sense. If you guys want to know more, feel free. Comment down below. Hit me up. Contact me. Links in the description. You guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.